we are back at it with some more fire education. Today, we're going to be talking about taking our fish code that we wrote and then running Sushi and Publisher to create a nicely rendered fire IG. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, if you're not familiar with Sushi, I'm just actually going to read it off of this web page here. Is Sushi is a reference implementation command line interpreter compiler for fish. And then basically what it does is after you've written your fish files, you can create this Sushi project where you can put all your fish files into it. When you run Sushi, it would take that fish and then convert it into the fire JSON resources. And then the subsequent steps would actually be to get it published. And that's going to be the these three steps, which I'll do in this demo today, is once we have our Sushi project, we're going to run this Sushi in, or rather, you're going to run this Sushi init, which initializes your Sushi project. From there, you add the different fish files that you want to create. And once you're ready, you run Sushi to convert all the fish files to the Fire JSON resources. We're going to go through a step of downloading Publisher, which gets the newest publisher.jar file. And then the last step would be to run the Gen 1 script, which takes all of those Fire JSON resources, creates these output files for rendering the IG. And then we can view it in a nice rendered web page in an index.html. So I'm going to go through these steps and do this demo. So the first thing here is I'm going to share my, let's see, VS Code page. And I'm going to jump off screen here so you can see the full screen. Let me just make this a little bigger. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new file. Let's do this sushi demo. All right. And then I'm going to first start off with the terminal. And for my terminal, I actually have sushi already installed. And I want to point that out because if you don't have sushi installed, go back to the first few minutes of this video, go to that GitHub web page, and do the installation steps before running Sushi, because you're going to want to install Node and uh, NPM before running Sushi. And that web page will just go through and walk you through those steps. So once you have that installed, you can install Sushi. So the demo from here actually begins with Sushi already installed. OK, give me one second. some reason the screen disappeared. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So everything's installed, Sushi's installed. When you have everything installed, you have a new project, what you want to do is run Sushi in it, and it will start with this uh, very nice prompt that just guides you through creating your Sushi project, creates all the necessary files to get you started. I'm going to go ahead and take all the defaults. You can go ahead and configure it how you would like, but I'm just going to take all the defaults for the purposes of this demo, ask you a series of questions, and at the very end, ask you, do you want to initialize, initialize the Sushi project? I say yes. That created all my files over here on my left. And then in this input file is where you would put all your fish files that you create, along with other files like narrative content in there. But let's say everything is done, good to go. You can go ahead and CD into your IG file. And then here is the very first important step, which is running Sushi. And so running Sushi will take all those fish files that you have and convert it into these fire JSON files. And that's at the very top here where it says fish generated. And you have all these resource files. So it created a IG for me, a patient. Uh, let's see, what is this? An example, and then a patient profile, because that's what was in my fish. I have a profile and an instance. So it created a example and a profile and then the IG for me. So we have that done. That's the very first step. The next step is you want to make sure you run this update publisher script. The very first time you run it, it's going to create a new folder for us called input cache. And then it'll download the publisher jar file for us, which is required for the next step to render our IG. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and run update publisher.sh. It's going to say, do you want to create this new file? 
say yes. It's going to download that file. Also say yes. It's going to take a minute or two to just go ahead and download. And then do you want to update script? Go ahead and say yes. And the gap, that will get the publisher.jar file installed over here. So now we're all set to do the final step, which is to run the Gen 1 script, which will then create all the files necessary for rendering your Fire IG. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and do gen onesh That goes to everything. It'll run, and then it will create this new folder for us called output. And here's the output folder. It's adding all the necessary files in there. And the most important file that we're going to want to use to view our IG is the index.html. And so once this is done running, uh, we're going to go ahead and open it. So you can see it here. Looks like that is done running. Where is my index file? Here it is, index.html, deposited into my output folder. So what I'm going to do is open output slash index.html. And what you will see, let me open my other tab. Uh, let's see. There we go. What you see is a rendered IG with the artifacts. I have my example patient over here, and then I have my example patient profile. And that is it. That is how you can very quickly run Sushi and the publisher to create a rendered IG. And then next, we're going to talk about how we can actually publish the IG using GitHub pages.